Welcome back friends. After understanding various terms related to basics of Lean and Six Sigma, in this video, we are going to see two important metrics in Six Sigma. The first one is DPMO, that is Defects Per Million Opportunities. And the second one is FTY and RTY. It means first time yield and roll throughput yield. So let's begin. Let's understand these concepts with the help of practical example. The first term is Defects Per Million Opportunities. In short, it is indicated as DPMO. Consider that a paper clip has one opportunity for defect and that opportunity is it does not clamp. Let's take a situation to understand it. If a paper clip has a one opportunity for defect and we find seven clips defective in 1000 clips, then the DPMO will be calculated as DPMO is equal to how many number of defectives we are having divided by how many number of opportunities into how many number of clips we have observed. In this example, the number of defectives are 7. Opportunity is 1 and we have found this number of defectives in 1000 clips. As we are interested in defects per million opportunities, that's why we need to multiply by 10 raised to 6. And if you do this calculation, it will be coming as 70,000. Now let's take an another example in which instead of paper clip, we are going to consider complex example. Consider that a computer has 10 opportunities for defect and that can be the bad drive, it continuously hangs, display flickers and there can be the many possible opportunities. In this situation, there are 10 opportunities for defect in one computer and we find 7 defects in 1000 computers, then the DPMO will be calculated as DPMO is equal to 7 that is the number of defectives we have observed divided by number of opportunities we had in each of the computer that is 10 into number of computers we have inspected. So that is 1000. We need to multiply by 10 raised to 6 because we are interested in defects per million opportunities. If we do this calculation, then it will be coming as 7000. Now, in this example, though the number of defects was same, the DPM is different. In other words, we can say that computer has higher sigma level than paper clips. The DPM is a very important concept, which is also considering complexity of the product. And therefore, instead of PPM, we are going to use DPMO. The next important concept which we are going to see is a first time yield. It is indicated by FTY and roll throughput yield, which is indicated by RTY. The first time is calculated as the ratio of the number of good units produced divided by the number of total units going into the process. As this is always indicated in percentage, so that's why we are going to multiply by 100%. And the roll throughput yield is nothing but the multiplication of first time yield of each of the processes. If you are having the four processes, then RTY is equal to first time yield of process 1 into first time yield of process 2 into first time yield of process 3 into first time yield of process 4. Again, as we are going to mention the RTY into percentage, we need to multiply by 100%. Now let's take an example to understand how to calculate the first time yield and roll throughput yield. This is an example in which there are three processes, process A, process B and process C. For each of the processes, the number of inputs are same, that is 100, 100 and 100. The second row is indicating the number of defectives which are coming out of the process. That means from the process A, the number of defectives will be 20. For the process B, the number of defectives are 10. And for the process C, the number of defectives are 10. The third row in the table is indicating repaired products. It means the number of defective product which has come out from the process and repaired. From the process A, the number of repaired products are 15. From the process B, that are 10. And from the process C, that are 5. The fourth row in the table is indicating that the number of products that has been scrapped. In other words, we can say rework was not possible for that products. And let's say that from the process A, we are having the 5 number of products which has scrapped. From the process B, we are going to scrap the zero products. The defective product we have received from the process B are 10 and all that product has revert and make them okay. So that's why the number of product scrap is zero. Similarly, in case of process C, we will be having the number of scrap products are five. The fifth row in the table is indicated that how much output after the rework. So this will be indicating what is the input to the process that is 100. Then we need to subtract 
the number of defective product from the process and we need to add number of products we have repaired and if you do this calculation it will be coming as 95 for the process a for the process b it is 100 for the process c it is 95 the sixth row is indicating what is the output before rework in this row we are not going to consider whether that product is okay or not okay after the rework so the calculation will be 100 minus 20 so which is coming as 80 for the process b it is 90 for the process c it will be again 90 now as per the definition the first time yield is calculated as the number of good units produced divided by the number of total units going into the process multiplied by 100 percentage for the process a the number of good units produced are 95 which are indicated into the row number 5 divided by the total number of units going into the process and which is equal to 100 so the first time yield for the process a is 0.95 similarly it is 1 for the process b and it is 0.95 again for the process c the next important metric is fui that is first pass yield in the calculation of first pass yield we are not going to consider how many products are made okay after the rework so this formula is taking output before rework as a numerator so which is equal to 80 divided by 100 that is coming as 0.8 similarly first pass yield for the process b is 0.9 and for the process C is again 0.9. Now let's see how to calculate the roll throughput yield. Roll throughput yield that is RTY is nothing but the multiplication of the first time yield of the process A, process B and process C. And if you do that calculation, it will be first time yield for the process A is 0.95 into first time yield for the process B is 1 into first time yield for the process C is 0.95. And if you do that multiplication, that will be coming as 0.9025 or 90.1 percentage in some of the industries they want to know what is the true performance of the organization or the processes without considering the rework and therefore instead of considering fty they are considering fui in this case the rty which is equal to first pass yield of the process a into the first pass yield of the process b into the first pass yield of the process a which is equal to 0.8 into 0.9 into 0.9 which is coming as 0.648 which is equal to 64.8 percentage if we compare the rty by these two formulas we can see there is a significant difference in the first formula we are going to consider that the rework is okay but in the second formula we are not going to consider the rework now there can be the question in your mind for the examination which formula you have to use so the answer is you have to use the formula one that is case one considering the rework of the products the case 2 is used in some of the industries for the practical applications. This is all about the very important concepts in Six Sigma that is DPMO, first time yield, first pass yield and RTY. Now this is an exercise for you. Please calculate what is the FTY, what is the FUI and what is RTY for your processes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.